it since we put it down for a barrio. We put it down every day, Alberto. You're not becoming a ranker, are you? No, fool, not at all. <laughs> Sounds like you want to drop out from La Ganga. Never, homie. I'm, I'm in this for life like you. You just let me know that you want to get jumped out and I'll put these mittens on you real quick. You and us got to jump me into Barrio Sesamo? I knew I had a belonging, homie. I'm not ready to leave now or ever. That's good, Earn Dog. Because I feel like ever since Big Pajaro got locked up, the hood's been falling apart. He used to keep it together like birds of a feather. You know what I'm saying? Simone. Hey, what's up, Vampiro? A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, seven, eight. Fools just jump me, let's go regulate. Hey, Ernesto, go get the cuente. I'm ready to ride for my gente. I'm telling we can have those fools disrespecting Barrio Sesamo. So what's this that I hear about Vampiro getting jumped? Yeah, for what, the exchange. Those fools, I guess, didn't come with the money. They came with the mittens. They put manos on that fool. Yeah, he said it was eight of them battles. I don't know why he didn't get the scoop on those fools. Normally, you can count on Vampiro. Hey, papi. Not right now, Perquita. What's up, Ernesto? Hey, Perquita. Hey, Alberto, what are you guys talking about? We're just talking about boxing. You know, the fight the other night. Yeah? I hope you guys aren't trying to get my man in trouble. No, Perquita. Like I said, we're talking about the fight. Okay. All right, papi, I'll see you later. I got a hair appointment. Okay, Perquita. I'll see you at home. Hey, Rana, I don't mean any disrespect, but I hope you're not telling her anything. You know her family are all puercos. Yeah, well, you can't trust anyone that associates with pigs. First off, don't tell me how to run La Clica. I know what I'm doing. Forgive me, Rana, but you don't need to get froggy with us. We're just looking out, Jefe. He's lucky I didn't hit him with my strong hand. Yeah, and Grumper's got all his kicks in. Yeah, but now my Cortez has got creases on him. I'm gonna go check on the turkey. <laughs> I sneezed on him. <laughs> hey, but I'm the one that put him to sleep. <laughs> Makes me so happy to know we all got our hits in. You got your hits in, right, shy boy? Put me in the spotlight, fool. Yeah, that was dope when Sleeper woke him up so we could beat him up some more. <laughs> hey, doctor, fool. Hey, tell him what you did. It made me hella happy. Well, I dislocated his arm, and then I relocated it, and then I dislocated it again, and then after I cracked him, I gave him a lollipop, and he told him to get well soon. <laughs> It's not my first time, fool. You live by the platano, you die by the platano. Yes, so Big Pajaro would be proud of you, homie. I miss that, fool. Me too. Barrio Sesamo for life, homie. I understand that all Muppets need to unite when we're here in La Pinta. But you need to understand that Barrio Sesamo is always going to come first. And if I hear that there's problemas with your barrio, in my barrio, I'm gonna come directly to you to put a quick end on that shit, ¿me entiendes? That's wacka wacka. You know I can't control what happens out there, big pajaro. Come on now. Well, you better figure it out, osito. I'll make a phone call, but you know if Barrio says someone's not delivering product, there's not much I could do. Come on, little bear. You know Barrio Sesamo's been hot ever since that drive-by? Well, who gave you the okay on that, huh? Who gave green light? Barrio Sesamo has met with your bare necessities ever since day one. So you need to bear with us during this problem, okay? I don't need you asking questions. I just need you to do what you're told when the bird says the word. You want to see what someone threw in my house? These chones. These dirty ass chones. What's up with these? These aren't mine. Come get your tones. Hey, poker. Did you beat the case or what? Would I be out if I didn't, Holmes? You got a point there, poker. But how do you beat a case after stabbing somebody? That's the thing, fool. I didn't stab anybody. So what do they do with the tape, homie? I mean, the security footage at the liquor store should have shown when you stabbed that vato with the carrot, no? What's up with all these questions, chiclero? Are you mad that I'm out? Huh? Should I be locked up? Is that, is that what you're saying? Get out of my face, 
poker. I'm not stupid, fool. I'm not a rookie to this shit, homie. You wanna get hit with the oh. platano right now, fool? Whose names did you drop, caballito? Or what did you tell them? What did you negotiate in order to come out? Ali Ali Oxen free, huh? <laughs> come on, bro! You really think I'm a snitch? I didn't drop no dimes? They didn't have anything on me! Just answer me the question. Are you a caballito? Or are you a ratoncito? I'm a caballo, homie. And, and look, that store did not have any surveillance cameras. And again, I didn't stab anybody. I've been there before, poker. You know Chiclero gets thirsty. And every time I go to select a nice cold 40, there's a nice little camera in my direction. Haven't you seen the camera? Chiclero! It's a dummy camera. Why do you think they never catch you jack in those 40s? You never pay for them. My bad, poker. <laughs> You're right, fool. I don't. Big pajaro. Little rut. My workout. Throw guns. Sure, whatever. You got to say. Me, Kim Wahi. They killed. They killed Rana. So they're saying the galletas did it? I don't know, Earn Dog. They did find a cookie by the murder scene, but galletas would never waste a cookie. So I feel he was set up. Galletas, you wouldn't do that. What kind of cookie was it? Does it really matter, Earn Dog? Kinda. Galletas likes any kind of cookie, but it, but it was chocolate chip. Well, that's his favorite, right? You can't. Who doesn't like chocolate chip? That doesn't prove anything, fool. Well, if it wasn't galletas, who would do it and why? My first suspicion is it has to do something with him playing both sides. On one end, he was running Barrio Sesamo. And on the other, he was kicking it with those Muppets. You think fools are tripping off him dating Puerquita? You know how her family are all Puercos? They, may, they probably thought he was a snitch, or what if he was snitching? Rana would never drop any dimes, fool. Don't even say that in my presence. Hey, I love them too, Berto. You know, I just can't figure out what would be the motive, you know? My second suspicion, Rana was known to be very froggy. And one thing I know about getting respect out of fear rather than love is that eventually you're going to scare the wrong vato. And he's going to see your doom. He's going to see the day that you end up dead like Rana. Dead in the dumpster. So I'm trying to think back. Who did he intimidate to the point that they would want to see him croak? <laughs> <laughs> Say something, Earn Dog. We're gonna find whoever did this. And we're gonna cut off all their fingers. Their toes, their genitals. Come on, Earn Dog. I'm sorry, Puerquita. Uh, but just let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. Yeah, Puerquita, we got your back. And uh, I know you're going through a very vulnerable time, so... Right now, don't make any decisions. Don't let anyone take advantage of you. We got your back, you know. Uh, Rana was a brother to us, so if you need anything, give us a call. You know, don't kick it with any fools. They're going to they're gonna try to take advantage of you because you're vulnerable and they're going to try to hit it. Shut up, burn dog. A one. A two. A three. A four. A five. A six, a seven, a eight, a nine, a ten. Galletas, why would you kill Rana? Tell me, did you do it for cookies? You better hope I don't get out of these restraints, vampiro. I didn't do it. How dare you think that I would do that to Rana? 
I'm mad that you would accuse me. And I'm extra mad that I'm hungry. And I don't have cookies. You better let me go right now, Vampiro, or go give me some cookies. I swear, Vampiro. I didn't say to whack him. I said whacka whacka. I always say that. Oh, you know how hot it is in here? Big Pajaro's probably going to take me out. He told me to take care of the mess, not make it worse, fool. I said whacka whacka. I don't care if you made it look like Galletas did it. I, I didn't want this to happen. He was the peacemaker. Why would you take him out? Who are you talking to, Osito? Who is this? Oh, you like to stay quiet, huh? Just know that I'm going to find out who you are. And I'll make sure that you stay quiet. In a soundproofed coffin with your name on it, punk. On those Muppets. I didn't mean for Rana to get whacked. Look, Osito. You may have not wanted that to happen. But you're the root cause. Of why Rana's not here. Based on your poor communication with whoever that was on the other side of the phone. So I'm going to give you two choices. You can either tell me who that was on the phone, or you can take his place. That's wacko wacko. But still, he, he shouldn't have done it. He was animalito. Congratulations. You just saved yourself. Why is Troncas here? I thought you said I saved myself. I, I gave you animalito. You saved yourself from me. Big pájaro, please. I never said you saved yourself from Troncas, Osito. Uh, what are you doing? But an elephant can never forget. Nor forgive. Big Pajaro's not gonna like this. Someone must have tipped him that we were on our way, fool. I wouldn't doubt it. Where do you think he went? Doesn't Puerquita have agents in the family? I think we should ask her. What do Asians have to do with it? Not Asians. Agents. Oficiales, puercos. If I were him, I'd leave the country and she could find out if he used his passport. He's that stupid, fool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do it, fool. He's that puerca. You think you're clever, huh, animalito? I see you're heading to Mexico. Did you have gone? Or I so happen to have a cousin. Hmm. Maybe I should give him a call. It's been a long time anyways. I'd like to know how my abuelita's doing. Bueno. Julia Primo. It's Big Pajaro. I hear you're quite the drinker, animalito. I wonder how many cantinas I'm gonna have to go to before I find you. You have a distinctive smell that I've never smelled before in Mexico. And like the toucan from the cereal, just have to follow my nose to wherever this animalito goes. Where are you leading me to, animalito? Let's have a drink. Give me mezcal. Mezcal. Mmm. You like it with the gusano? Yeah, give me that. All right, let's put the worm in it. Hey, you know what else likes worms? Hmm. Frogs. Yeah, ramas love worms. Uh, and worms love dead frogs. Who are you? A friend of Rana. Rana? Big Pajaro says salud. Thank you for answering my call on time. As you know, I'm pretty limited here with my situation. And thank you for being on schedule, Primo. How did your hunting trip go? It was successful, Primo. Gracias. Very good. Except that it was a direct headshot. So I won't be able to mount my trophy on my wall. That's too bad. I would have loved to see a picture of that. I have some information for you, Primo. I found an unlocked cell phone that had a few missed calls by the same contact as a consistent payer on their cash app with the same name of our abuelo's favorite iguana. Do you remember the iguana's name, Primo? I do. 
Thank you for this information, primo. I'll talk to you later. I got a few things to settle. Adios, primo. His name was Alberto. Coincidentally, the same name as the vato next in line to run Barrio Sesamo from the streets. I respected your entire program. I knew you were trying to get out early based on your good behavior. But I also knew that you getting out early would also benefit Barrio Sesamo. So I didn't ask for much of you two while you were here. But now that you're gonna get out in La Calle, I have a task for you. Are you ready to do a jale for me? I'm listo, jefe. <sighs> What's the mission, patron? I need you two to let Ernesto know that he has a chance to prove his loyalty to Barrio Sesamo. Adrenaline rush. Monstro's excited. I want him to take out his ace. Alberto. He's not gonna want to have it. Oh. What if he doesn't, Patron? Then I want them both. Unstuffed. Yeah, big pajaro. We got you, Patron. Romario says Orale. I will avenge you, Rana. I'll never forgive myself, Osito. I should be sleeping. You've taken that away from me, Alberto. Sleep was one peaceful thing that I looked forward to. Although I have to be on my toes 24-7. My nest is the bird sanctuary. My escape. And now I drown in plotting thoughts. You better hope that Ernesto does his part. Maybe he will give you a merciful exit. And maybe those monsters will give you a quick end. But now I'm wondering whether I should find a way to get you in here so the bird can kill the snake like the symbol on la bandera mexicana damn big pajaro I'd hate to be your enemy go chill Alberto it only rang twice Ernesto. hello it's monstros we have to meet I didn't know you were out just got out where, where do you want to meet? At the park near your house. Meet us at the park. Well, let me tell Alberto. No. No, you mustn't tell him anything about this. Come alone and be discreet. Oh. Oh, okay. 5 p.m. Come alone without him. Who was that? Oh, it's, uh, my, my mom. What did that perra want? Fool, don't call my jefita perra. I'm messing with you. Don't get mad. Unless you want me to put these mittens on you. You know what time it is, Ernesto. They cook that meat before it goes bad. Make us some tacos. Oh, that's right. You know what? I should go to the store to get some aguacates. Get some chelas too, fool. Ernesto. Gracias for meeting with us. Hey, what's up, monstruos? Chule. Hey, hey, is it cool if I stay back here? You know, no offense, but... I know you guys like sticking fools and I don't know what this meeting's about. It's cool. Don't worry. We have something for you. Toma. Oh, the feather of death? Simon. A pluma of plomo? Yes. For who? For me? Uh, this big bottle want me dead? No, it's not for you. But it could be. Who, who's, who's it for then? Your camarada. Your carnal, Alberto. You must take him out for setting up Rana. Why would he set up Rana? Where did you hear this? Alberto was sending feria deposits to Animalito. Alberto was next in line after Rana. Alberto's ambition to run Barrio Sesamo was enough to pay Animalito to take him out. I don't know all, all my life. How, how do you expect for me to do it? Why, why are you giving me this task? Because if you don't do it, you will assume that you were part of Rana's hit. I would never do that. I love Rana. Then take this feather and handle it soon. Or the next time we meet, we'll be delivering two. A pluma for Alberto. And another one for you. You must have really cared about Rana to still wear that shirt, Alberto. Yeah, of course I did. You should be wearing one too, Ernesto. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe you can give me the phone number of whoever printed it out for you. They seem to be pretty fast. It's almost like they printed it before he died. Like they would have anticipated it. Are you on one then, Nesto? 
You're not making any sense, fool. So I was on our computer earlier, and I was just searching through the history, and I noticed that uh, someone was looking for a screen printing service a few days before Rana died. I know that wasn't me. Let me see your hands, Ernesto. You want to see my hands? Here's my left hand. The feather of death. And here's my right. Why'd you do it, Alberto? I never thought you'd talk to me with huevos. Even your voice changed. I'm not playing with you, Alberto. All right, you want the truth? Rana was getting soft. He was playing both sides. And his lady's family's all puercos. How are we gonna have the vato who's leading Barrio Sesamo be in the mix with La Jura and the other side? So that's when you decided to pay for the hit that left them rotting in the dumpster? I know I've been an asshole, Ernesto, and I'm sure I deserve this. But to be real with you, you're the only vato I really trust or trusted. I used to respect you, and now that I think about it, I think I only respected you out of fear. And you told me yourself that if you're respected out of fear instead of love, eventually you're going to scare the wrong vato that will see your doom. And you know what, Alberto? I was the wrong vato. Wakey, wakey, Ernesto. Huh? Huh? Hey. Oh, what's up, monstruos? You you're not here to take me out, are you? What happened with Alberto? He has better aim than me. I, I tried, but he got me, okay? I, if you guys are going to take me out, just do it, because I did my best. You're okay, Ernesto. You're okay with Big Paro. You proved yourself a soldado for Barrio Sesamo. Big Paro has other plans for him anyways. But we need you to drop a dime. You want me to snitch? No, no, I'm not snitching. I'm not going down as a snitch. What did you write in your statement? I said I was shot by a stray bullet, okay? Did you shoot back? Yeah, but I hit the wall. You think the detectives are gonna think there was two stray bullets? I patched that up, added texture, and painted it before they got there. I did maintenance for like 10 years, but they didn't even come in because I told them I got shot while I was outside. You got that, detective. Oh, I hate working with Brett What? Huh? What, detective? Yep, I got it. Sounds like we got more than a suspect. We got a culprit. I didn't snitch. Oh, thanks to Ernesto being a cooperative, law-abiding citizen. Ernesto will be good with the law. Self-defense. That's not my statement, you crooked puerco. Don't worry, Ernesto. Your name's going to be cleared. <laughs> I think we found him, boys. I believe we did. I'm craving bacon. Amber, no, we got you surrounded. Come out with your mittens up. Not that kind of bacon. Are you worried about your safety? Are you afraid for your life? Then we can get you protective custody. I'm gonna want the main line. I'm not scared of no one. So put me in, GP. I'm not playing out and seek with these fools. Alberto's never been a punk. I have a feeling you're gonna be causing trouble. Trouble caused me. I'm a product of a hostile environment. This is nothing new. I'm used to this gang life. General population it is. I feel like I had a choice. You practically don't care. Welcome to La Pinta, Alberto. I know it's no five-star hotel. Yeah, I remember my first time. And I remember how I got here. It's crazy how they say time flies. But when a bottle does time, no flying is involved at all. Five years ago, on one hot summer night, I lost my freedom. It's too bad my parents couldn't afford AC. Maybe I would have been home drinking one of my old man's chelas without him knowing. I know I can't blame them for my mistakes, but when you do time, you think about choices. You start questioning yourself. What could you have done to avoid such a fate? If I would have taken the construction job that my tío offered me, I probably would have been too tired to be out that night. There's so many, so many choices I could have made to avoid such a consequence. Now I'm stuck in here. Just imagine having wings and not being able to fly.
But on that summer night, I was free. I was wild. Hey, what's up, homie? You're not from this turf. What are you doing on Barrio Sesamo? Without a hall pass, Fato. Does your walls look a little plain, fool? I was planning on adding some color. Well, you don't like art? Oh, I like art, homie. How about I slam your face on that wall so you can express your insides all over that center block canvas? I was planning to paint the wall with this spray can, not my head. But if you don't like this spray can, maybe you like this sharp carrot. Huh, Pajaro? You like that, fool? Yeah, I do. Step up, homie. Step up. I like veggies. But tonight I'm craving fruta. That's why I brought this platano. <laughs> now look at you, Picasso. Ah, oh, shit. You got a lot of huevos, Alberto. And that, coming from a pájaro, is grande, homie. I'm surprised you're on the yard. I guess you learned something from Barrio Sesamo. That gangsters don't PC up. One thing you should know about me, Big Pajaro, is that I'm not scared of anything. I've been close to death. My life didn't even flash before my eyes. You know what I thought about when I was close to death? Finally, I could rest. Finally, I'll be at peace. My whole life has been war. So today is no different than any other day. Except the fact that I'm here to see the OG become my enemy. That was beautiful, homie. Brilliant. You must know that I'm a fan of the art of poetry. But that's not going to save you from me making you taste the bitter flavor of wrath, revenge. You're going to regret what you did to Rana. Doing what's best to save the future of Barrio Sesamo? I can't regret that. You got to understand that Rana's lady... His cousins with nothing but puercos. And then Rana was in the mix with those Muppets. Come on now. You think that's cool? Having the one that's running the show play hopscotch and our turf and their turf? You don't think there's going to be any leaks too? Being that close to La Jura? How do you know that I didn't want it that way? Him being close to La Jura is the reason why I got you in here. Think about it. I have power in the system because of Rana's connects and those Muppets. They haven't retaliated. You know why they haven't retaliated for Animalito or Osito? Because Rana was cool with them. I knew what I was doing. I know how to play chess. And it's checkmate, Alberto. So you're the reason I'm in here? You dropped a dime? Is that what Barrio Sesamo taught you? I didn't drop no dime. Your homie just doesn't know when to keep his mouth shut. There might be a little piggy in the room who's ready to squeal. Now you're telling me Ernesto's a snitch? What does it matter what he did? You tried to kill him, didn't you? If I really wanted to kill him, I wouldn't be in here, apparently. I can't remember the last time I missed a headshot. Now I see that was a mistake. I'm gonna clear his name right now. He didn't snitch. He just spoke out loud to a homie he trusted without knowing that there was a puerquito ear hustling. It's messed up what you have to orchestrate in order to have your way. And I'm the type of vato that likes to deal with my own problems. And you're my problem, Alberto. Well, what's the solution? Are we gonna get down? We're gonna get down right here? I'm gonna meet you in your cell because I don't want you running away from me. I don't and there's too many eyes out here. I don't want anyone to stop the fun. I'll see you in my cell, big pajaro. I'm not scared of you, fool. I wouldn't expect you to be. After all, we're both from Barrio Sesamo. Orale. I was jumped by eight, and all I counted was one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven. And when this strong hand, I want to kick your ass. Oh, what a mistake you made by making Vampiro your enemy. And I'm not a bat. I'm a vampire. So you got the shit or what? Do you have the money? Yeah, we got it, right? Right, fellas? Yeah. We got all the feria. Maybe you can teach us how to count it. One, I'm not here to teach. Two, I don't see no feria. And three... If I don't see no feria, you don't get no product. You know why my old coach kicked me out of my baseball team? Huh? 
because I kept breaking bats. Huh? Oh. Oh. So I'd say like in two weeks is the perfect time to make our hit. Mario says someone's gonna be down a few soldados. Now that they're killing each other off, they're doing half the battle for us. After that, we take over. Mario says someone will be up for the taking. With the Duendes gone, it's pretty much ours. You about to better stay ready. I want your minds clear. Stay sober for the next two weeks and keep it through, child. We need you about in the streets. Get ready for guerra. Those Muppets are taking over. I better tell the chief about this. What? This won't be good for business. <laughs> Welcome to my cell, big pajaro. I emptied it to give us some space. I appreciate that. I was worried I was going to get a cramp while taking your life. Because your body was says Samo, I refuse to use a weapon. It's up to you if you want to use one. All I need is these mittens. Orale. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get down. What's that? Someone's calling me. No one ever calls me. No one's supposed to call me. You mind taking a moment? I got time. Got plenty of time. Thanks to you. Who is this? This is Chief Chicharron. This better be important. It is. Los Muppets are plotting on Barrio Sesamo. They're planning on taking over. How do you know this? One of our officers was spying on Los Muppets from a broken skylight on an abandoned warehouse building. Did they say when they want war? They're waiting for you to lose more soldiers before they plan their attack. According to the officer, it looks like two weeks. Those two-faced cowards. I need you to do something for me. Well, what can I do? Give me one second. <laughs> sure. Alberto, did you catch any of that? I did. It sounds like Los Muppets want to take our turf. If I free you, will you take Rana's place and run Barrio Sesamo from out there? And be Barrio Sesamo's shield and espada from the streets? I'd do anything for Barrio Sesamo. But how are you going to do that? I made your case reversible for insurance purposes. To protect Ernesto from los puercos. No offense. Not taken. Señor Chief Chicharón, I want you to report that that statement that was taken against Alberto is not a validated statement since Ernesto was heavily under the influence by anesthetics. Well, that's very clever. If you weren't involved in the streets, I would have said you should have taken law. <laughs> I got some tricks up my sleeve, too. So I'm going to make a few phone calls, and I'm pretty sure we'll get them out. And again, Ernesto didn't snitch on you. I'm going to need as many soldados as you can gather up to get ready for guerra. Estoy listo, jefe. Orale. One week later, we made our first move. Hit the hustler. Starve him with their money. No treasure. No money for supplies. That means limited ammo. Hey, I'm looking for a pico. What's up, homie? What you need? I just need you. Me? Heard you needed some potassium. For the first hit, I hired a hitman known as a chiclero. Besides his drinking problem, he's known to be very precise and clean. I didn't want those Muppets to suspect that we're onto them. So since they can't trace this hit back to us... This will buy us more time to gather our soldados, to contemplate a multiple strategic attacks on the oblivious enemy who sleeps as a nocturnal predator. Praise on him. What should I say to Ernesto? I wonder if he'll ever forgive me. Barrio Sesamo is way more important than our beef. Maybe we can squash it for now and handle it later, but... Right now we got Muppeteros to take out. I don't know how you got out, but I didn't snitch on you. I know, I know you didn't, Ernesto. My name was cleared because that statement that got me in was faulty. Hell yeah, it was a faulty statement. That wasn't my statement. I didn't write none of that down. That's not what I'm here to discuss. You want to have a discussion now? Are you sure you weren't here to finish the job? But I got the platano out faster than you did? Huh? Ernesto, you will never be faster than me. If I wanted to take you out, I could have taken you out. You've never seen me miss a headshot. That's true. So why didn't you take me out then? Because my beef was not with you. And the only reason why I hit you with the platano was because you were trying to hit me first. Yeah, because you had Rana taken out. 
Because to me, he was a weak link. Look how quickly Osito did the job. Those Muppeteros don't care about us. And Rana was affiliated with them. It was a hard choice to make. Trust me, I did care about Rana. But I care more about Barrio Sesamo. And Rana wasn't listening to our advice. Love is blind and I'm pretty sure he told Puerquita things that I wouldn't want her to know. That I knew could leak to Los Puercos, her primos. And now I know that Los Puercos know more than, than me. What do you mean? Los Puercos are under the payroll. Big Pajaro has them working for him. So he's working with Puercos? What? No, you didn't hear me. Los Puercos are working for him. He didn't sell out. If anything, he's working the system. Thanks to Rana getting close to them. So I think it's pretty clever what he did when it comes to Los Puercos. He has a lot of power. But I was right about not trusting Los Muppeteros. What's up with Los Muppets? One of the officers was spying on Los Muppeteros from a skylight in an abandoned warehouse. And he overheard them plotting against us. Knowing that we're losing soldados. Most likely they got a tip about Big Pajaro's plans for me. But when Big Pajaro found out, he decided to clear my name and make me the shot caller in the streets. Well, I don't know whether they're to say congratulations or F you, fool. Understood. <laughs> Dang, fool, well, I had a feeling they were working for him. Why you say that? Because Los Monstros visited me while I was in the hospital. And they asked me about what went down between you and me. While there was a puerquito hiding behind them. Writing the statement. But I was under so much morphine that I didn't know what was going on. I thought Los Monstros were just snitches. Nah, they, they did what they were supposed to. And that's how Big Pajaro was able to clear my name because... He said that you were under the influence of anesthetics and that the statement shouldn't be valid. I don't know if that's what got me out, but some uh, Chief Chicharonfo said that he had some tricks up his sleeve. He'd be able to get me out, and here I am. So, we gotta get ready for... We gotta get ready for Los Mapeteros. Hit them hard. I got a couple platanos that we can give off to the rest of the homies. We're going to arm the barrio because Los Muppeteros declared war and our advantage is that they don't know that we know about this declaration. So tell me, are you ready? Are you ready, Ernesto? I'm ready, fool. But I think you should teach me how to shoot first. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I'll teach you, bro. You forgive me, though. Why don't you teach me how to shoot? I'm going to shoot you in the web, also. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. I I forgive you, homie. Can you put the platano down then? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My bad. What's up? What's up? This is Strong Hand. And yes, those were my underpants. I must have ate bad clams. And I had to hide the evidence. I threw my chonies in a garbage can. I said Oscar and then I ran. You really just made a music video? There's no cameras, this ain't a music video. This was a live performance just for you. Damn, Vampiro! How do I get a platano like that? You know I have butt sores for being on that chair for 10 weeks? Dispensa galletas, please forgive me. You're lucky I ate so much cookie dough that I'm constipated and I didn't have to take a dump. But now, now that I'm free, I'm going to take a dump on you. Galletas, to say sorry, I didn't just buy you one or a two or a three, but I bought you 400 cookies. Mmm, cookies. Okay. Okay. Hey, but who set me up? It was Animalito, but he was hired by Alberto. If Alberto has something to do with this, I'm gonna rip his head off! What's up, mama? Sita Gress, Sita Gimboni. I don't know this number. That is why Bono is has trabajo. You know, I got you if you want to, I'll be your soldado. Who is this? And I already canceled my Chola Monster magazine. What's up, monstro? It's Alberto. I've been wanting to talk to you, fool! 
Why was there a chocolate chip cookie left by Rana's murder scene? I swear to you, galletas, that was not intentional. That cookie was just a coincidence. I wouldn't even give Animalito the credit to be smart enough to set you up. Where was the murder? Of Sesamo and Broadway. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I, I made cookies there before. That could have been one of my cookies. Serio? That's not like you to leave a cookie behind. Especially chocolate chip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing. Hey, but on the real, bro. Big Pajaro gave me the rank of shot caller. Not that I'm going to take advantage of it. But Los Mapeteros, they're trying to take over Barrio Sesamo. On Palabra? Palabra, bro. You know, to spare the details, it's, it's war between them and us. But they don't know that we know that they declared it. They were waiting for us to lose soldados, and um, Big Pajaro found out. So, I got a, I got a platano for you. Are you in? Why did you have Rana killed? Because he was playing all sides, bro. He was dealing with those mapeteros, and his lady is a puerca. I, you know, I don't, I don't want to go into details. I, my name is being cleared by Big Pajaro. I don't, I don't need to go any further, bro. If, if you don't want to ride and, and, and you have something against me, bro, we can handle that toe to toe. You don't want to see me toe to toe, Alberto. But if Big Pajaro cleared your name, you're good with me. And if Los Mapeteros are declaring war on Barrio Sesamo, then with mucho gusto, I'll happily take that platano from you. But I'm going to run your paperwork, homie. And if I find some bullshit, I'm going to treat you like a chocolate chip cookie. Well, my paperwork is clean. But are you saying you're going to eat me if it's not? I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to devour you. And then I'm going to shit you out. But first, I would need some fiber because I'm hella constipated, bro. You should eat some oatmeal, bro. Maybe some applesauce. And when I'm saying oatmeal, I don't mean oatmeal cookies. I don't think the, the cookie dough will help. But, um... If you like, I can run down to the store and pick some items up before I bring you the platano. Yeah, that, that, that'd be cool. If you can do that, uh, I'd appreciate it. If you could pick something up for sores, too, like skin sores. Well, that, that oatmeal can help for that, too. You could take, like, a oatmeal bath. Um, I'll, I'll pick up some aloe vera, too. Por so That should help, homie. All right, later. Did I hear that you got sores, homie? Yeah. Where at? All over my ass. Like, everywhere. Get some aloe vera. Oh, Alberto is actually going to bring me some. Isn't that full no good? I'm going to check the paperwork later, but I guess Big Pajaro cleared his name. Oh, okay. Well, let me know. Yeah, I, I got you. You're looking out. Hey, would you happen to know who threw some chones in my house? Some chones? Nah. Well, I hope your nalgas heal, homie. Gracias. All right, Ernesto. I want you to hit that can. But first, keep both of your eyes open. And then, I want you to line up the tip of the platano with the middle of the platano. You know the line that goes across the middle? Line that up with your target. You should be able to hit it. Okay. Hey, but Alberto, I got, I got a question. What's up? I noticed... That, uh, you don't have your tattoo on your collar anymore. What happened? Oh, when I was on the run, I had it removed. I was going to change my whole identity. And then when I got locked up, I decided to get all these placasos in there. Some homie in there does have a clean work, so I took advantage. Oh, Well, I'm trying to get some work done, too, and I heard this fool named uh, Uncle Sherio. He's opening up shop for cheap. And I'm trying to get an Aztec princess on my back. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, let me go with you when you get that done. Uh, I'm trying to see what he does, because I'm trying to get some more work, too. Hey, uh, so, remember, line up the tip of the platano with the middle line. All right. Nice! <laughs> hey, don't get too excited, fool. You ain't that tight. The homeboy Chiclero proved to us that he's down. And he could handle the hit. But just in case the Muppeteros knew to look out for a green hit man, we decided to hire his homie, Poker. Weapon of choice, a very sharp carrot. No way! Is that a knife?
1970 Dodge Challenger, also known as the Black Ghost, Simon. It's almost as surprising as seeing a green ghost. What is that? You, what the? Oh, shit! You're probably asking, why would you use such a unique car for such a mission? Well, like Chiclero, poker also has some bad habits. He doesn't have a drinking problem, but he does have a gambling addiction. A 1974 Torino King Cobra should have been in poker's garage, yet the millionaire never paid his debt. So now poker's on his way to return that dirty car before the owner realizes that the black ghost went out on an evening stroll. Hey, what's up, my peteros? Let him have it, Ernesto! Get him again, Nesto! Fario Sesamo, Rifa Punks! And the Vato Lags. Better for me. Cheeks are on him for being late. I should go make some room for some chelas. Take a piss. Hey, I already paid for this table! Nobody better take this table! So I don't even think anyone's here. Better be a bartender, cause I'm ready for some beer. Someone here? And I said I was just gonna take a piss. <laughs> but duty calls. <laughs> oh. Hey, should have left a note or something. I did. I hope that fool doesn't come in and think I left. Hurry up, booty! <laughs> you got a game! I guess we're on the same page. You came here to destroy. <laughs> uh, I got some good ones today. I want to say good ones. Uh. <laughs> hey, that voice sounds familiar. It's me, Memo. Memo? Mario says I'm all. Hey, what's up, fool? <laughs> what a weird coincidence that we're all in the bathroom at the same time. <laughs> Gravi? Is that you, Gravi? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> hey, what's up, Gravi? <laughs> hey, hey, you guys should play pool with us. I'm just waiting for my brother. <laughs> I don't think the wait's gonna be too long. Well, you, you, you talked to him? I didn't talk to him. Did you talk to him, Grave? No. But I heard that you're supposed to be waiting for him somewhere else. Oh, oh, for real? Is, is there another pool hall nearby? That's probably why he's late. He went to the other pool hall. That's right, there's another one. No, we're not talking about a billiards. What are you talking about then? Not a pool hall. You're supposed to be waiting for him. In the dirt. Yeah! <laughs> we have one about the left. He took out his whole operation without a scratch. I guess this is what happens. When you talk about your plans a little too soon. Be careful, homie. There might be a puerquito listening. Julie! What's up, Effie? Where's Waldo? We have him right here, Simon. Where's my brother? Where's my carnal, mi pajaro? Why have you done this to us? Don't talk to me about whys, what's, or where's. I should be the one asking questions. Why did you think it was okay to plot against us? What made you think I wanted to find out? I'm not answering anything until you tell me where Estalo is! So you will be reuniting with him shortly. I can guarantee that. So you're not gonna answer any questions. Monstros. Destroy him. Yeah! Si, sí, patrón! <laughs> now that's a song that's gonna be difficult to get out of my head. I wish you would have hung up before you did that. Anyways, monstros, since you still have me on the phone, did you manage 
to get any information out of him? Si, sí, patron. There's more Mapetero. We overheard a conversation before we grabbed him. Waldo was on the phone asking for reinforcements. His words were, Aguila, I need you to send soldados. There's none left here at the bodega. And with an angry tone, Waldo said, A month is too long. And then he hung up. So that means the Barrio Sesamo has a month to prepare. <laughs> No one is supposed to call me on this phone, but speak your business. Big Pajaro, it's Aguila, el Padrino. Padrino, how can I help you? Please forgive my unscheduled phone call, but it's rather important that I speak to you because I'm afraid that the private business I was running in your town may have to be shut down due to a sudden massacre of all my employees. Have you not heard anything regarding this misfortune here, Barrio Sesamo? It's interesting that I was never made aware that you were running a chapter in my town. So I will start with that. I think it would have been important that you reached out to me or had someone reach out to me to let me know that you were doing business in my territory. I coexisted with the Muppeteros, but I had no idea that I was in connections with you. And to let you know, those Muppeteros never paid tax to secure their business. Although we would profit by selling them product, they didn't have insurance to secure their assets. Hmm. You're not very sympathetic to someone who just lost a whole warehouse of business. Padrino, you should know that I never involved my emotions with my business. It's not professional. Uh, well, I think you just helped me find out who's behind this unexpected downsize of my business. Listen, Aguila. You are not my padrino. So I have no reason to look at you as my superior authority. So if you're threatening me, just know that your challenge is more than accepted. It's welcomed by an iron wing of full force. So don't come to my stomping grounds and expect a VIP reservation with a complimentary champagne bottle. What you can expect, another financial crisis because of your poor communication. So next time you wanna do business, you make sure you pay tax to me, because I'm the only big pajaro in this region. Entiendes, Aguila? Stay on your perch and keep your negocios away from my nest. What nest is that? Barrio Sesamo. The Aguilar family deserves respect. And I'm gonna make sure to remind big pajaro of his manners. I should have known that Los Mapeteros were working for the Aguilar family. But regardless, Barrio says someone doesn't bow down to no one. I know we've been pretty good about checking everyone's paperwork. But anyone that comes in, any kind of fresh meat, Troncas, I want you to do a full screening on that vato. See if there's any connections with that vato and the Aguilar family. Because from here on now, that fool is going to want to take me out. Or one of us big ratos, you know what I mean? So keep it extra trucha. Entiendes? Big pajaro. There's a new vato right now that I couldn't get any kind of pay for him out of. Supposedly he's from no hood. And I don't know what he's here for. So he might be a suspect, tell me. He's with no hood? Supposedly. Is he gonna hang with the others? I don't know. Who's he programming with? You're not asking enough questions. My bad, big pajaro. I didn't realize we had such a threat in our Oh, hands. there's always a threat. So when you check him again, check for black castles too. <laughs> huh? That's for Familia Aguilar. You know 
vatos probably take trocas with down, huh? <laughs> trocas ain't a big vato for nothing. Check it out. Earlier in that day, <laughs> I went up to that vato to give him a quick little check out, alright? Hey, what's up, homie? Cubole. I know I approached you already. Yeah? You said you were from no hood. I don't be. But here's the deal, Vato. You either gotta join us or be against us, homie. And if you're against me, it's not gonna be pretty for you, fool. I hear you. So what's up? Are you with us? Simone. So, uh, check this out. The Vato that watches my back when I take a shower got COVID, so he's on quarantine. So you might watch my back while I take a little bird bath? Simone, homie, you can count on me. I know what you're thinking. Why would Trocas ask this new vato to watch his back while he showers? That's crazy, huh? Here's the thing. La Pinta is like the wild. There's no big weapons here. So just like in the wild, a fully grown elephant doesn't need to watch its back from anything. But everything needs to watch its back from a full grown elephant. <laughs> Hell no. My turn, Vato. Fuzzy. I don't gotta watch my back for that fool. You should have known that an elephant's hide. It's not easy to puncture. But he'll say something, fool. Atole, I respect that you're dedicated to your faith, but I'm sure you know what's going on with La Familia Aguilar. And I think it's important that you know that you should be trucha, homie. I mean, I know you're not about this kind of lifestyle anymore, but the last thing I would want is for them to come after you, knowing we're in guerra. Without you being ready, homie. I appreciate you, carnal. But you should hear this verse in Matthew chapter 5, verse 21. You have heard that it was said to the people long ago, You shall not murder, and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. You see, carnal, I've already repented for this same sin. And I'm not going to repeat it. I'm reborn again, carnal. I cannot fall back into my old ways. You call this guerra, but there's a bigger guerra going on. And believe it or not, carnal, you're part of it. And that's good for us evil. And I will not retreat. I'm going to continue on fighting in this spiritual battle against evil. For my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, has given me another chance to fight the good fight. Wow. You know, because of because I know who you are, Atole. You, I know you're, I know that you're a soldier, regardless of what fight you, you join. I know you're a warrior, I've seen what you're capable of. And I respect you for what you've done for Barrio Sesamo. And how you continue to try to save my soul. I appreciate you. And just know I have your back. And I don't want you to get blindsided by an enemy that you may not consider an enemy. Just be prepared, homie. You can at least defend yourself. Big Pajaro. You know who's got my back? God has my back. That's all I need. I'll be fine, homie. Okay, I understand. But can I ask something of you? You could ask, but I'm not joining your war. Can you pray for me and the homies? I always do, Big Pajaro. So, of course, you will stay in my prayers. I still love all you vatos. God loves all you vatos. And you're welcome to the kingdom of heaven if you will just repent. That's on you, homie. And that what you ask of me that's a start right there homie 
I will pray for your forgiveness. Thank you, Atole. I still remember you make the best spreads. <laughs> you mind making one for Aomi? Break bread with your carnal? I'm sorry, big pajaro, but I'm a vegan now, too. Are you being serious, Atole? <laughs> I'm messing. I could never be a vegan. <laughs> yeah, of course I could make one for us, homie. <laughs> I was about to strangle you. Romans chapter 12, verse 19. Paul the Apostle says, Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, It is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. This whole war started out because of revenge. And at this point, it's too late to back out. But it is more true that if I don't listen to this word, more lives will be lost. This book isn't just rules. This book isn't just laws to abide. This book is advice for our better good. And now we are under attack. Will it be wrong to defend ourselves? I wish I would have read this earlier. <sighs> because if I tell everyone to back down, they will take over. And they will not have mercy on us. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. I just pray that after this war, I can change my life. Thank you for meeting me, Oslo. You've done a lot of work for the Familia Aguilar. You're one of the downest Muppeteros I've ever known. So I think it'll be an easy mission for you to take out two plataneros. Memo, in grave. We're gonna target individual soldados so we can successfully execute every mission. Comprendes? Si, padrino. It won't be a problem. You can consider those two vatos deceased. Muy bien, also. Sitting on top of the world, homie! Yeah! <laughs> Mario Sesamo Rifa! <laughs> the way we did them punks! We're taking over, Grave! Palabra! Simon! You know what, Memo? What's up, loco? You're my roll dog, and I wouldn't be able to do this with anyone else. Like, you know, I'm down for La Clica no matter what, but as far as an ace, you're my ace, homie. You're my other nacha! <laughs> <laughs> you're whack, <wild, fool. laughs> Oh, look at that. That's so beautiful. <laughs> hey, I don't mean to spoil a beautiful moment between you two, little, uh... What are you, anyways? You guys some kind of... Couple? We're a couple of soldados that'll kick that ass, homie! Oh! What you doing oh, on this street? I thought this was a public street, homie. My bad. This is yours? You're in Mario Sesamo, homie! You're trading on thin ice right now, fool! I bet it's the one, OG! <laughs> You're a wild one, huh? I'm new to the barrio, bro. I'm new to the neighborhood, and I just wanted to explore, me entiendes? Oh, yeah? <laughs> you can come explore these nuts! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! What's your name, fool? My name's also. And I'm here to dig two pozos. Mira mucha plata, no grave? I'm naked, bro. I don't have shit. Yeah, I've been watching you two vatos for about a week now. And this is the first time I noticed that you come out without your platanos. You've been watching us? You some kind of creep, fool? A creep. <laughs> now I'm just an expert, homie. Check this out, homie. Why don't we just go toe to toe? Like old school. Nah, I'm too tired for that. <laughs> Reap what you sow, Mario Sesamo. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Hey, Pajaro. What's up, Troncas? I have bad news. What happened? Grave. A memo. We're found dead. This morning. <sighs> Demolition is one of my favorite occupations. Who do you need me to destroy? Nada dulce. You have a difficult task ahead of you. 
I want you to take out one of Big Bajaro's favorite pets, or I should say two. You're killing two bird pets with one stone. I want you to go after Los Monstros. Destruction is how I function. <laughs> Sikkim, Leviticus, chapter 27, verse 29. No one devoted who is to be devoted for destruction for mankind shall be ransomed. He shall surely be put to death. Bueno. Alberto. Alberto, what's up? The word for Big Pajaro is that the Familia Aguilar has already been attacking. <sighs> they took out Memo and Grave. They took out the two youngsters? Oh, we need to retaliate. We will. I can guarantee that, homie. It's messed up that we lost some soldados already. So just keep it through, child, all right? We're always ready. We're most vulnerable when we're alone. And they could attack at any time. Watch your back, monstruos. Likewise, homie. Hold on there. They murked Memo and put Grave in the grave. Let's set up a meeting, Simon, for our plan of attack. What was that sound? It's probably a rat. Did you call the exterminator? You act like you wouldn't know. <laughs> well, sometimes I sleep longer than you. There it goes again. I heard it. It's coming from the closet, I think. <laughs> Monstros. Isn't it ironic that you're on the other side of this closet? Get out. That was close. Hey, Carnal. Wake up, Carnal. No. Chapter 5, verse 4. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Even in times when we lose a kalab, God will be there. You may ask yourself, why would God let this happen? But the poor choices we sometimes make, that same freedom of will, is what brings us to these tragedies. And sometimes we have no control of what others do, but what is guaranteed is if we pray to God genuinely with a humbled heart, comfort we shall receive. Ah, you're alive. So you were sleeping? I told you I sleep longer than you. <laughs> that makes me extremely happy. I thought I was going to have to cut your ugly head off. <laughs> I'm the one with the looks. You wish, Rato. <laughs> well, help me get rid of this body. Oh, yeah. What happened? I took him out with the zanahoria. I forgot I had a carrot in my back pocket. You keep a carrot in your back? <laughs> First off, that's our back. <laughs> not like that, fool. I'm not gonna lie. My neck is in pain. <sighs> there you go, carnal. Yeah, I feel much better. Gracias. So you want me to set up a banana bomb? In Barrio Sesamo? Yes, I do. Don't you like doing that anyways? Banana bombs are my favorite. But that's a high risk mission. You're telling me to go to their hood and set up shop there. How am I supposed to do that without being seen? Don't they call you Big Loke? Aren't you crazy? You're the professional. You have nothing to lose, right? Here's the deal. You pay up front so I could have fun with that money because there is no guarantee that I will live to enjoy the reward. 
being how risky this job is. Do we have an understanding? Yes. I'll pay you the full amount. Up front. But just to guarantee that this is a successful hit. If you're alive at the end, you can come back here and I will double that reward. Hey! You ain't from this turf? decorating on me. With explosives? Nah, fool, you better get down on me. All right, just give me one second, bato. I got a better idea. Let me help you down, bato. Oh, no, you don't know what that will do. Mario, fast, I'm on fire. Matthew, chapter 26, verse 52. Put your sword back in its place. Jesus said to him, For all who draw the sword will die by the sword. What's going on? What's going on? Puerquita? Yes, Ron, it's me. Oh, what are these tubes doing to me? Oh, you woke up. You woke up, me, Ron. You woke up. Was I in a coma? Yes, they tried to kill you. Who tried to kill me, Puerquita? Animal from Los Mapeteros. What? Everyone thinks you're dead. They even made rest in peace, Lana shirts. Give me my platano, Puerquita. I'm going after Animal. She's already dead. So they avenged me. They did, but... The one that set you up was Alberto. Alberto set me up. Yes. Uh. I still want my platano, Perquita. And I want you to get a hold of one of those rest in peace shirts. Okay. I want to wear it. I can get one. I want to make it seem like I came back from the dead. As I hunt down Alberto. I don't want you to be in danger. Who else knows that I'm still alive? Nobody, Rana. I didn't want to tell anyone because I didn't want them to come back and finish the job. So that's my advantage. So, no one went after Alberto after finding this out. They did. And everybody turned on him. Until the Muppeteros started war. And then they, they made him the shot caller in the streets. Shot caller? Yes, I don't want you to do anything. That is really angers me. I feel so betrayed. Give me that shirt and give me my platano. All I need in this life, a sin, is me and my girlfriend. Also, patron. Although I love to call you, only to congratulate you on a successful hit on two Barrio Sesamo Soldados, I'm also calling you because I need another favor. Oh, I'm pleased that you've become a fan of my work. How can I further assist you? I am a fan of your work, but this mission is more challenging than terminating two youngsters. I want you to go after Alberto and Ernesto. Well, since this job will be more challenging, I am expecting a higher compensation than last time. A reasonable request. I will pay you triple. Oh, dale. Now we're speaking honey money. Speaking of honey, for every barrio sesamo soldado you take out on the way, you can guarantee that I will sweeten the deal. Hey Ernesto, you want something from the store? I'm gonna go get some more chelas. Um, can you bring me some chips? What kind? Uh, tortilla chips. What kind though? Surprise me. Okay, alright, I'll be back. What would Ernesto do without me? Can't even choose his own chips. Oh, the fool see me? Oh, shit! <laughs> Looks like I'm not the only one that wanted Alberto dead, Puerquita. <laughs> they really are in war. I guess my job was done for me. You know? 
Let's go check on Ernesto. Why? I'm pretty sure he had something to do with it too. No, he actually confronted Alberto. Alberto gave him a platonazo. And he almost died in the hospital. So he did care. He had my back. He did, but he was ordered to make amends so he could finish this war with the Mapeteros. So they paused dealing with Alberto so they can prioritize on guerra. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can understand. I mean, a battle versus a war. A war is priority. But still, I, I have a lot of questions and I, I still think we should go visit Ernesto. And he better have Feria on our petrol too. Living way out here in the boonies like a pinch of hillbilly. <laughs> I love your laugh, Puerquita. I love that Impala. What a ride! <laughs> Dang. I got a headache though. But I've had worse. Cheap tequila. You know how that goes. Uh, I could use a shot right now. Who are you talking to? Uh, I, I I sometimes talk to myself. It's just a thing I do to continue having social skills. I don't really get much guests because I live in a garbage can. I see that. So, I, I mean, since you're here, I, I should introduce myself. They call me Oscar del Cabron. <laughs> Straight up, cabron. Should have seen what I just did, but I, I can't tell you. Please don't. What's your name? Oh, I I keep my name to myself. See, I kind of have like the opposite thing going on, where I get unwelcome guests or strangers always wanting to socialize with me. So I get too much of it. So I'm just going to stop talking. You ain't got to be a straight up perro about it, though. I knew it. That's cool. Hmm. Straight up, perro. Yep, I'm a dog. You know, it's it's funny because I just flew two miles after a banana bomb went off. A banana bomb? Landed here in my garbage can house, yet I'm in a better mood than you. Yeah, you sound so jolly. You want to see me about something? I mean, I am seeing you. But I don't want to see you. Oh my gosh. The last time I was this mad, it was because some dirty ass decided to throw his dirty Jonas in my house while I was sleeping. Although I find it disgusting yeah, that he's in the dirt now. someone would throw their dirty underwear in a public garbage can. Um, you, you do live in one. My house ain't for the public. You got that wrong, fool. My canton is only for big, badass, bo- I know that I saw a bear in the rearview mirror of my Impala. My Impala that is now sitting on the riverbed. Well, this captain didn't go down with the ship. Because this captain's going after that pinche bear. <laughs> They're making it too easy. Who leaves the door open? Well, let's see who's home. <laughs> Don't tell me that's Ernesto you just threw in the trunk. No, Puerquita. Ernesto's not that big. You didn't hear me struggling? Yeah. That was the... That was that bear that rammed Alberto off the cliff. Oh, shit. I think he was about to hit Ernesto after. I told you it's war. I believe you. I know, Puerquita. We should come back later. We gotta dump this body. Why is there a platano on you, Ernesto? For protection. Were you part of the reason why I just ended up in the river? You ended up in the river? No, I, I just, I just have this because when I got out here, the door was wide open. Did Big Pajaro put a hint on me? No, fool. Uh, why? What happened? There was a bear in a truck, and it ran me over the cliff, and now my Impala. Is a fish! A dead fish! No, the Impala! Simon! Oh, I mean, I'm glad you're alive, but... Dang! No, bro! 
You said a bear? A big brown bear. We gotta let the homies know. What, what is that's the fool they got? No. They got the two homies, who? They got Memo and Grave. You think a bear did it? Yeah, bro. You know what? Now that I remember, Osito had a hitman cousin, a big bear that was known as a ruthless sicario that went by the name also. We gotta go after him, fool! Alberto just informed me that the sicario known as also tried to kill him. He rammed him off of the cliff near his hideout, out in the boonies. He lost his impala to the river. He's pretty pissed off about that. Mm. But he also says that he thinks that's who took out Grave and Memo. I haven't heard about Osito's cousin, also, in a long time. And every time I hear about him, it's something chaotic. I heard he's expensive because he has a 100% success rate. He is a professional. And he's also known to keep his missions quiet. So let's hope he didn't tell anyone in his organization that he's beefing with Barrio Sesamo. Because if we take him out, not only are we going to have problems with the Familia Aguilar, but we're also going to be in war with the Labyrinth Mafia. So let's take him out before war gets out. I want all Barrio Sesamo to hunt down also and to locate and eliminate Aguila. I'm done with this guerra. Orale, jefe. Perdón. But with all due respect, I know you were holding back and I know why. But sometimes it's better to cut off the infection before it spreads. And this is one of those cases. So I also respect your order. Luz verde on Aguila. I pray that God forgives me and gives me another chance after this war. I know God understands that I have a responsibility and I'm at fault for why this has become such a mess. I know that once we get out of this war, I will dedicate my life to you. Just please let my soldiers live through this guerra so they can also have a chance to find your light during these dark times. Amen. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. And the flame shall not consume you. Pulling up right now. Oh, hell no. Hey, Ernesto, grab your platano. Someone's pulling up. It's probably that also punk. It's like your ghost is seeing your ghost, huh? Bro, what's going on? Rana? What's up, Ernesto? Boo. Who's calling me? Boo. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> Who's calling me? Big pajaro. Hey, my bad, Dispenza. I know I'm not supposed to be calling you, but you won't believe who's at the front of my house trying to kill me. Alberto? Si, patron. Who? Look, you, you never hear me scared, but there's a ghost. Rana. The, he's, 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 he's a zombie or, I, I don't know but he's, a, he's in front with, 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 with the platano Rana? Rana yeah hmm. Palabra You better not be lying For real patron he's, So Rana's not dead He's back from the dead Anyways put me on speaker Okay Hey Rana I'm just gonna let you know I ain't no punk But I ain't about to go bananas with the ghost Oh Bruno's always been scared of ghosts Shut up, Ernesto! Rana! I got Big Pajaro on speaker! He wants to talk to you! Rana... Are you really alive? I am! Is that a problem? If you're alive... 
then you will know not to talk to me like that. My bad, it's just, you know, finding out that Alberto tried to kill me, and then you guys not doing anything about it. I mean, I understand we're in war, but it's like, who's going to avenge me? Why is he still part of Barrio Sesamo? Rana, you have to understand that I need all the soldiers I can possibly gather because we're at war. First, we went against the Mapeteros. I heard. An enemy that Alberto saw in the making. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That you didn't. I don't know how I didn't see it. I don't know either. After the Mapeteros, we went against a mafia called La Familia Aguilar. I'm sure you know of them. I know of them. I need all the high-ranking soldados that I can possibly get. And I need you and Alberto to squash this beef and come together as a unit. Like you once were. I understand that this isn't something that you could simply forget. You can't simply forgive him for. But what I am asking and what I am demanding is that you put the platanos away and talk this out. And the next time you pull your platanos out, it's facing the Familia Aguilar. This beef between you two ends today. And we're going to use the fact that everyone thinks you're dead to our advantage. After I got off the phone, these two fools still kept going. I just want you to know that it ain't over between you and I. We got some shit to settle, Alberto. No, no, you wouldn't listen to me. It's like when the Emperor Julius Caesar wouldn't listen to his advisors. They killed him. But being thrown in the dumpster, that wasn't part of the plan. That, that was just wrong. I didn't want you to go out like that. But it's a good thing that's not how I went out. It's not the first time I escaped death. It looks like you're pretty familiar with escaping death yourself. I saw when you got rammed off that cliff. By also. You saw that? Simon. Were you part of that? Although I wish it was. That had nothing to do with me. Well, he's the first four on my list. I lost my beautiful Impala because of him. Well, I guess I saved you the trouble. Huh? You owe me. Move Alberto so I can see. Because I took him out. What do you mean? Are you saying that you killed also? Well, I found him here. I think he was trying to get to Ernesto. And as soon as I saw him trying to creep through the doorway, I crept behind him and I cut him off. I put my zanahoria to his neck until there wasn't no breath left. You feel me? And that's not that compared to what I plan to do to you, Bato. Rana, if I would have let you lead any longer, Barrio Sesamo would probably not be here. Or at least in La Calle. You being cool with them, trusting them, there's a huge chance you may have exposed a lot of our information, our weaknesses. Their plan of attack was to ambush us. I did what I thought was best for Barrio Sesamo, and I hope you understand that, or you eventually try to understand that. I don't want it to lead to us killing each other. I'm down to go toes with you after this fight. I want to be at full potential for this guerra. But after the guerra, if you and I walk away from this war, healthy, let's just duke them. Let's just throw fregadasos, bro. Or we can chunk them. But I can't promise you that I won't end it with the finishing move. Well, then I just got to make sure that I win then. We'll see about that. All right, Ernesto. Hey, you stay up, homie. Hey, you, you too, Rana. Th thanks for saving my life. I heard about what you did. Taking a platonazo from your carnal here for me. So I'm thankful too, homie. Oh, yeah. You and I have that in common, Ernesto. He tried to kill both of us. But I wouldn't trust him. Me entiendes? 
All right, Alberto. I guess I'll see you in the battlefield. Yeah, I'll see you there, fool. And we'll handle that after. Sounds cool to me, homeboy. Let's roll out, puerquita. Friends turn to enemies. Is there a chance that these enemies can turn to friends once again? Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18. God says to the Israelites, Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against anyone among your people, but love your neighbor as yourself. Straight up, perro. So you say that you used to work with the Familia Aguilar? For a long time, those bastards. It's too bad that they didn't appreciate you. I gave them ten years of my life. Well, you know how persuasive I am. That I do, Vampiro. Maybe I can convince them to hire you back. Would you? Would you do that for me? If only I knew how to get to the Familia Aguilar's headquarters. Let's do it at the same place. Oh. I'll give you the address. Mmm. What's up, Layani? <laughs> is it my turn to get up in them cookies or what? Efe, it is an honor to give you these good noticias I have. One, that Vato Oso was taken out by the ghost Rana. So you don't gotta worry about that for no more. Number two. <laughs> Vampiro, he just got the location of the Familia Aguilar's headquarters. That's music to my ears, Tonkas. Send out a scout to check out the location, and I want them to draw a layout of the building. And I'd be a little bit more confident in our plan of attack if we can get a hold of the blueprint of the Familia Aguilar's headquarters. Can you get that for me? Simon Hefe, that shouldn't be a problem. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 32 He who commits adultery lacks sense. He who does it destroys himself. Because Lampido was able to seduce Layani through her sexual desires, she has now destroyed herself. It looks like she won't be getting that job after all. And she also has put her life at risk. And because of this adultery, she has also destroyed La Familia Aguilar. It turns out that the Familia Aguilar has been staying in a beautiful mansion. Vampiro got the location. And all thanks to an electrician homie who happens to be in the market for some platanos. We now also have a detailed drawn layout of the entire building. So, Familia Aguilar, I suggest that you bring out the fine china, because you'll be having guests soon. How long do we have to watch them? The Patron wants a one-month report. Shouldn't we be documenting this? El Jefe prefers that we memorize all patterns, all routines. Leave no paper trail, no crumbs. No evidence. Looks like someone's learning how to fly a helicopter. That may be our way in. Chiclero, thank you for doing this for us. No problem, big pajaro. We're lucky that you know how to fly a helicopter. With the ferry I got after my first holiday, I went to take helicopter pilot training. So yeah, I'm pretty thankful for that decision. It just adds to my... Portfolio. That was a female decision to add to your investment. Gracias. So, tell me, who are you teaching how to fly? Is it Don Aguilar? It's under his name. 
but it's for his close nephew. You could tell that they have a strong bond. As a matter of fact, he told me that Don Aguilar's birthday is coming up and he'd like to do something for him for paying for pilot school. Hmm, I got an idea. Suggest a surprise birthday party. Tell him that you so happen to also be a party coordinator on the side and that you can get everything set up the night before if he'd just let you in. And since he's taking helicopter lessons from you, you cut him a deal. 50% off. He can't beat that. Chicleto got back to me with the good news that the youngster thought it was a great idea and he couldn't say no to 50% off. He said it's not just any birthday. It's his big 80. It's a big deal. So he'll be happy to leave the back door open so Chicleto can bring all the props with no interference. It's too bad. He's not going to make it to the big 8-0. That's going to be his last night. He's going to die in the 70s. Compliments of Barrio Sesamo. Fast forward to the night before the big 80. Barrio Sesamo initiates Project Trojan Horse. Two hours after the Trojan Horse was stabled, Barrio Sesamo attacks. I can't believe that it's going to be 80 years tomorrow since I hatched out of Mama's egg. It's insane how fast time flies. Speaking of how fast time flies, it's been a while since Oso has reached out to me. I wonder what's going on with that. Of course, I already paid him, so I'm assuming he did the job. How about your festival? Soon you'll just be a cemetery. Never underestimate your enemy, especially when they have an understanding of how large you are. That only means that they will anticipate to study their opposition status, such as strengths, weaknesses, numbers, and their next move. While you're resting, while you're sleeping, your enemy will be calculating their next objective. All because you forgot that when you're at the top, you should secure your investment with stronger vigilance instead of being blinded by the fake respect that money has got you. So when your father and I were your age, all we liked to do was fish. Eagles catching bass. It's natural. You know, you should go fishing with me sometime when you're not partying or Learning how to fly helicopters. Well, learning how to fly helicopters is going to come in handy one day. But the partying, the partying, nephew, it needs to stop. You don't make money like that. Fishing is boring to me, uncle, but maybe I'll go fishing with you one day. The only kind of fishing I want to do right now, though, is fishing for the ladies. <laughs> Come in! No! Rana! Are my eyes playing tricks on me? Your eyes are just fine, Don Aguilar! <laughs> Isn't that something? You killed me once, but you saved me twice on the same night. I still want to fight you. <laughs> Come on, Rana. <laughs> but I don't want to kill you anymore, Alberto. I appreciate that, homie. I now owe you my life. Since you saved me twice. We're all good, Rana. I appreciate you, homie. Barrio says I'm for life. Carnal. Orale. I still can't believe they put a flip radio barn on top of where Barrio says I'm was. It's a trip. Dang, whoa. All those years we put in work just for this. 
I don't know if it would work, the homie. A lot of solid vatos came out of that barrio. Like you and I. And I consider all of you familia. And you know what? Even after all that darkness, I still managed to find light. That path brought me to the Lord. So I can't say it wasn't worth it. We're better now, homie. First Peter chapter 2, verse 10 and 11. Dear friends, I warn you as temporary residents and foreigners to keep away from worldly desires that wage war against your very souls. Once you had no identity as a people, now you are God's people. Once you received no mercy, now you have received God's mercy.